In this lesson, we're going to be talking about replica set nodes with different indexes. Now, I need to warn you right from the start that an architecture that relies on secondary nodes with specific indexes is not very usual, and it's only useful for a handful of use cases. Things like specific analytics on secondary nodes, or reporting on delayed consistency data, or even text search. Those are a few of the examples of use cases that will benefit from having specific indexes on secondary nodes alone. But again, this should not be a common practice. Once you have identified a favorable scenario, you also need to consider the requirements for this setup. These nodes should not be allowed to become primary nodes. So we should configure them either with priority zero, becoming hidden nodes, or pure simply delayed secondary nodes. This is because if a primary were to step, step down, then your main application could then begin to communicate with replica set members whose indexes are not designed to serve its queries. This would be a very bad performance scenario for your application. Let's see this in practice using an example. Let's start by creating a replica set. I'm going to start by creating the folders or DB paths for each one of my replica set members. I'm going to have our data, our 0, 1, and 2. With the handouts for this lesson, you'll find a set of configuration files that I'll be using to launch my replica sets. As you can see here, there are three different files, R0, R1, and R2, one for each of the instances of my replica set. The next step is to launch all of these instances. But before that, let's see in, on which port are we running this particular set of instances. So my R0 will be listening on port 27,000, R1 on 27,001, and R2 on 27,002. OK, so now that we've seen on which ports are my instance going to be listening on, I can go ahead and launch them all. So I'm going to launch my R0, my R1, and obviously my R2. If I look for the grep of all MongoDBs running, I can see that all my instances are up and running and very well. Thank you so much. The configured replica set is called M201, very originally. Once all instances are up and running, we can go ahead and configure this particular replica set. We are going to have a one primary and two secondaries. One of the secondaries will be configured with priority zero, preventing it from becoming a primary node. So we can then select them to create a specific index that is going to be only accessible if we run queries through this particular node. So let's go ahead and connect to one of the members. In this case, I'm going to use 27,000. And I'm going to set this particular configuration. DID needs to reflect the replica set name, M201. And here on host 2, or ID 2, and running on port 27002, I will set this member as priority 0. This will be the selected node to hold those specific indexes that will be different from the remaining nodes of my replica set. Once I have the configuration in place, I can then now go ahead and initiate it. Once the configuration is up and running, I'll see that I will have my hosts and one passive node here, my priority zero node. 